Prior to the inception of the three-hour shared prosperity government of distinguished Senator Hopo Zadema for eight years, the state secretariat had no public electric power supply. It was in the dark, and the ministries were making use of private generating plants with its attendant noise pollution. On receiving the mantle of leadership of the state in January 15, 2020, Senator Ozadema left no one in doubt as to his determination to right the wrongs of the past administration and turn everything around for the good of the state. He appointed Lady Anne Dozier Commissioner to head the Ministry of Power and Water Resources with a mandate to ensure that the state is fully energized by restoring electricity to places where the system collapsed, as well as in ministries, parastatals, public places, and communities. I want to say a very big thank you to our dear governor for all that he is doing in Imo State, that people can come out now and see the traffic light and obey it. Rank of across to our governor. He is doing well and he is still going to do more. We are so proud of him. For the mandate to be actualized, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Power and Water Resources, Mrs. Nenna Ngugo, mobilized the staff of the ministry to key into the policy thrust of three shared prosperity of Ozadema administration. Our staff have been up and doing to reciprocate His Excellency's uh, gesture. December last year, something happened in the public service system that has never happened before. Imo State workers were paid 13 months salary, which we have never experienced. Apart from that, all public servants went home with bags of rice. Now, for, my, for the staff of this ministry, our salaries had been paid as a wage. And this has spurred or motivated the staff to put in their best. They come to work early, they don't uh, 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 malinger, they make sure they stay in their offices and discharge their duties effectively and efficiently. To ensure that electric power supply was restored to the state secretariat, the government reactivated two number 500 kVA and two number 650 kVA power generating sets and replaced vandalized armored cables at the four plant house transformer substation to ensure steady power supply to the secretariat. Engineer Basilo Koli is head Electrical Services Department, Ministry of Power and Water Resources. So a 500 kVA generator that serves the four, two blocks in this secretariat, including the water borehole, central water borehole for the secretariat. This was rehabilitated by His Excellency, distinguished Senator Hope Ozodema. Before he came on board, this, trans, this generator was vandalized. He came, he reactivated it and put it into use. 650 kVA generator that is used as a standby generator for the three blocks in the secretariat, block 10, nine and eight. The power sector in this secretariat, the His Excellency has done very much to make sure that power is in the secretariat. You know, you cannot do without power. Because if you want to increase the productivity of your workforce, there must be power to ensure a conducive environment and for them to use modern gadgets that is being used now in offices to run the offices. So we are happy for what His Excellency has done for us in this Secretariat, particularly in restoring power and water to the Secretariat. Thank you. At the heat of COVID-19 pandemic, the three-hour shared prosperity government of Senator Hopo Zadema established an isolation center where COVID-19 patients were isolated and treated before they are reintegrated to their families and the society. To give the patients and workers their minimum comfort, the government procured, installed and energized 100 kVA 11 slash 0.415 kVA transformer substation at the isolation center on the road where you have former state secretariat 
Here again is engineer Basil Okoli. Yeah, this is uh, one of the projects of His Excellency under the power sector, the installation of 100 kVA transformer for the United State Isolation Center. This was done during the COVID uh, time to serve this isolation center. Traffic situation in our metropolis used to be chaotic and slow. At times, motorists experience logjam as a result of old roundabout that does not make for free flow of traffic. The Ozadema led administration removed the roundabout at the major streets of Owere and installed traffic signal lights at major road junction in Owere. Here again is a commissioner for power and water resources, Lady Anne Dozier. If you walk past through Wedral Road to Abad Road Junction, you will see what is happening there. Government House Junction, you will see it yourself. Akati Sook Abad Road Junction, Douglas Road Emmanuel College Junction, Wedral Road to MCC Road Junction, Imsu Roundabout. All these areas, you see how the traffic light is shining. This is Government House, Weather Road, Okigwe Road Junction, that used to be a nightmare for motorists. The traffic signal light installed by government has taken over and sanity has been restored in the area. How do motorists who ply the road see the operation of the traffic signal light at Government House, Wadu Okigwe Rails Junction. I think uh, the government is trying, let them try more. I love what they are doing. It's a very good one. I like it way it's working. At least it's making our country, country to just move on. It's a very wonderful one. It's almost done. Thank you. Very neat. Thank you. 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 This is World Bank traffic signal light and follow the traffic signal light at Warehouse Roundabout and Imo State University Roundabout and appreciate the free flow and orderly movements. Electrical Services Department, Ministry of Power, 
and water resources, engineer Basil Okoli. The traffic situation here has drastically been reduced. We see the three block traffic according to what obtains by the signal lights. So this is one of the legacy projects of His Excellency, distinguished Senator Ho Bozadim Matu, is and make life easy for people in this uh, way. What is the impression of people who ply the roads? traffic light Always Mana installation of the traffic light, I think, traffic now flows. Uh, there is no delay anymore. The only thing is that uh, drivers are always impatient. Some of them don't wait to, you know, have their own turn. To beautify Owari and improve on the security of the town, the 3R Shared Prosperity Government of Senator Uzadema installed solar-powered street light along major streets and roads in Owari municipality. The Commissioner for Power and Water Resources has more on that. Namely, you know before his SNS came, the capital of Imo State Missouri was in darkness. We wouldn't see traffic lights, but now, when I'm moving around the municipality, you see that day is like night, night is like day. Actually, two days ago, I was watching a documentary on the um, relief market. I was like, wow, is this place the relief market that I used to know? With lights everywhere. People can now buy from morning till around 7, 8 in the night. Show you that his SNS is really working. If you walk past through Wedral Road to Abad Road Junction, you will see what is happening there. Government House Junction, you will see it yourself. Akati Sook Abad Road Junction. Douglas Road, Emmanuel College Junction, Wedral Road Road, MCC Road Junction, Imsu Roundabout. All these areas, you see how the traffic light is shining and people are seeing it. If you see fire service roundabout, that place used to be a nightmare. But today, you can see that when you are near fire service, you wouldn't know that it's fire service, you think that it is a long gun. Fire service today is like London with the street lights. And to be fair to all of us and to the governor, our people are now queuing in. When they are coming and see the lights say red, they will stop. When they see a yellow, they will be preparing to move and bring the move. Not only that His Excellency has given us the street lights, he has also turned our people to respect the rights and they are really abiding. By the laws. We must say a very big thank you to our dear governor for all that he is doing in Imo State. That people can come out now and see the traffic light and obey it. Rank of across to our governor. He is doing well and he is still going to do more. We are so proud of him. If you look at warehouse roundabout, the same story, relief markets, Abel Road Junction, Abel Road Street Shop right roundabout. Chubu Mamoha, Ebu Road Junction, World Bank Roundabout, Nazi Roundabout, Buhari Stroke World Bank Road Roundabout, and Okigwe Road Stroke Tetlo Junction Roundabout. In Ebu added, we say, how many lions will a man kill before he start calling him a lion himself? 
as far as we are concerned, the name of state, our government is a lion, a dogged man, a man that is full of wisdom, a man that doesn't talk much, but his actions and resource speaks for him. We are proud to be associated with him, and we are very, very happy to have him as our governor. Apart from the traffic lights, installation of solar street light along major streets and roads in the municipality. If you pass through Wedra Road, you can see them. You see them at Akachi, you see them at Douglas Road, you see them at Amiibo Street, you see them at Opera Nose Street, Relief Market Road, the Tiger Street, New Road, Ebuada, Onecha Road, Chukwu Mamoha Road. Everywhere with street lights. So that when you enter into Imo State in the night, you know, you think that it is London. And a trip to Olu through Owere Road will make one appreciate the taste and value of aesthetics of the Uzade Maled administration. The street light along the roads makes it something good to behold. The street light at Akachi, Wedro, and that of Relief Market Roads are unique. The street light has not only beautified the state capital but improved nightlife and returned peace to the town. Appreciate the street light at Chukuma Mwoha Road and the Tiger Road. This is Relief Market Road at night with business activities going on. <laughs> How do people of Imo State see the landmark accomplishment of the three hour shared prosperity government of Senator Hope Ozadema on power? Elated and I feel very happy uh, because um, this is the first of its kind. Um, governors, they've been coming, they've been going, and uh, this is the first governor that has uh, added finesse to his uh, diplomatic prowess. You know, when you talk about street light, that one is not that is new because normally we see them in the city. But in the hinterlands now, where because of the security situation of the state, he has decided to illuminate everywhere. So some of those roads you can drive with your eyes closed. And not only the street light, the quality of the road. And that's why people are commending him. And for me, I can say that I'm happy too that we're having such an enormous state. Kudos to, to the governor and to the state and to APC too. Before now, before his assumption of office, it was roundabout everywhere. And we disco he discovered that the roundabout was not doing the traffic well. And um, decided to bring uh, a state of uh, arts arrangement to traffic management. And as you can see, go to uh, different places Today, that traffic jam that we used to see before have disappeared. There are no more here. Look at the, even right away outside my office, where you have the, um, uh, what they call warehouse roundabout. It is easy going. The traffic waters there, they find it easy, controlling the traffic with the traffic light. He knows the yearning of our people. And that's what he's given us. If you go around the world, I didn't make any borders. Relief Market, MCC Relief Market Road is a wonder to behold with street lightning. People now trade till late night yes. at Relief Market. It's never been done before. But meanwhile, that road is less than three kilometers mm. in the city center. Nobody bothered about it. Even when they went and named it after somebody, it was still impassable. Today is a free road well done with double drainage on both sides. Now you now live over a city. Before we didn't know where our road could be done by a state government. We used to talk of it's a federal road because it leads to Oka in Anambra State. Everybody gave excuse until Governor Hope was a dead man came on board. That road closer to 37 kilometers today is completed over the Tolu Road. Dual carriageway, drainage, street lightning at the media. If you are, if you go to Oro now up to 8, 9 p.m., you will see business going on 
at Nkume, Njaba. Yeah. Along that road, people trade till 8, 9 p.m. because the street lights are functional. And no more robbery. No more robbery. No more crime. This is the dualized Muhammad Buhari Drive with solar powered street lights. Behold, the Asamta Potakot Road street light, Asamta World Bank street light, Owere Oji street light. of the governor, Senator Hupuza Demma's administration on power. Continue to support the administration for more dividends of democracy. Bye for now.